a load of 820 plastic water buckets is beginning a long journey into the mountains surrounding Leogan, Haiti, close to the epicenter of the earthquake. The buckets will be fitted with a tap and delivered with a supply of water purification tablets to residents living far from safe water sources. The project was spearheaded by Deep Springs International with help from Save the Children. Michael Ritter is the president of Deep Springs International. He says the goal is to deliver 15,000 of the buckets, what he calls containers, to families. So here in the Leogon Commune, there are about 160,000 people, and we're working with a group of 165 health agents to distribute safe storage containers and chlorine. And to date, they have distributed about 4,000 containers, and we have plans to scale that up considerably to do another 11,000 in the coming two months here. The system is an inexpensive way to provide safe drinking water to a vulnerable community, particularly children under five. Many of the households rely on the river for drinking water, which leaves them highly susceptible to diarrhea and other waterborne ailments. To reach even the most remote households, Deep Springs is using a team of pack mules to carry the buckets and water purification tablets high up the mountain. Back in the city of Leogan, a group of especially vulnerable women and children have been given the buckets and purification tablets. Magdalene Paul is a 30-year-old mother. Her family home was destroyed by the earthquake, and she's now living inside a tent with 22 other family members. I'm happy because I've received a water bucket. I've also received training about how to make the water pure using the tablets so that nobody in my family gets sick from the water and they won't get fever anymore. That was a problem. So I'm happy that everyone is going to be healthier. UNICEF's contribution to this effort is to gauge the effectiveness of the household water treatment. It's coming in to test the households given the buckets and purification tablets, not only in Haiti, but in three other emergencies around the world. Are the families using it correctly? Is the water safe for children? The idea is to identify the best approach, replicate it in future emergencies, and hopefully save thousands of lives in the process. This is Thomas Nibel reporting for UNICEF Television in Leogon, Haiti. Unite for Children.